Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This episode, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're back on the trike. Why are we back on the trike? Uh, well, after doing some research and doing additional work, um, it's just gonna to be too difficult to get it registered street legal. Not that I'd even be able to really do anything other than go down the street and get the mail with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear it apart. It was just a hobby thing, just to see what can be done. We're gonna go ahead and salvage the batteries out of this as well as the electrical controller for uh, the relays and everything. I'm gonna use those for the 944. The Kelly controller and the paired motor, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell if you're interested. Um, it'll be up and the rest of it, the suspension and everything, we're gonna just take it all, store it. If there's a use for it down the road, we're gonna go ahead and use it down the road. But it's just eating up space in here and I need to get it out. Disassemble. Dead. Disassemble. Dead. No disassemble.
All right, we have several stacks. This one's completely good. This one's completely good. This one's got two nerfed cells. This one's got two nerfed cells. I have four extra cells, which are good. So we can take and swap those. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and make batteries, one for the 944 and one for the Tesla powered DDR. Now with this, we're gonna do uh, two PS4. So two in parallel for each one and four in series, which is gonna get us the 14 volts there about. Um, and with that, it will also give us uh, three times the ampacity for the maximum output. Uh, three times 90 is uh, 270 volts. So, uh, 270 volts. 270 amps uh, maximum output and 100 and, oh my gosh, no, no, because it's 180 times 30. For this guy, I don't know if you guys remember, we bonded this down along the perimeter with thermally conductive epoxy. So I'm gonna have to take and pack at it to get it to disbond. out all we have left is like the brakes lights these are just single bolt each but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get this up on jack stands all around and then remove the rest of the suspension and then all we'll have left is a giant hunk of aluminum which we'll take to recyclers
All right, let's go ahead and get this swing arm and anything else in a scrap pile, and then we'll remove any other steel tidbits from uh, the hubs and everything else and get those out into the scrap pile as well. Almost done. All right, guys, there it is. It's gone. Chopped up, off the scrap. We'll get some money back for it. We'll pour it into the DDR and we'll keep moving on. Now, let's see what we have left from the project. We have batteries. So the ones marked with the X's, that's the bad ones. I have four spare batteries up there. So we're gonna make a battery pack for the DDR using the good ones. We're gonna make a, uh, let's see, 180 amp hour 12 volt battery. Let's take a look here. We have a brake pedal with a clutch slave. Might use that on the 944. I've got, let's see, 12 volt activated, 90, oh my gosh, 12 volt, 400 amp contactor with a pre-charged pre resistor on it. So we'll see what we're gonna do with this uh, contactor. Then right here, this is kind of cool and I'll probably be able to get some money back off this. It's a 42 amp. Starts at 48 volts to 144 volts. Drop down DC to DC to 12 volts. So that's to go from your battery pack down to your 12 volt system for everything else. This is actually pretty good, works really well. So definitely gonna be able to get something out of that. Then we got these guys right here. So motorcycle shocks, but might keep those for a future project. Just gotta find a place to put them. Let's see, anything else? Oh yeah, got that neat tail light here. And then we have 140 volt, 144, 24 to 144. Uh, Kelly controller for a motor. And where the heck did I put the motor? There it is. <laughs> and the motor, so those two, that and the motor, I'm gonna leave those paired since they are intended to work together. And if I can find a cheap uh, project bike, we might do a bike conversion and just leave it as a regular bike since it'll already have a frame registered so we don't have to title it or anything like that. 
So that's going to be a wrap for this episode. Next episode, we'll hopefully be picking it back up on the DDR. And if not, we'll work on the 944. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching.